Today we're going to be talking about angiosperm seed development. And seed development occurs after fertilization takes place, after a sperm and an egg fuse together and they form a zygote, a single fertilized egg. So let's go ahead and start there. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to draw a zygote, a single fertilized egg. There's its nucleus. And this is going to be referred to as a zygote. That zygote is going to further develop and divide in two. And it's going to produce two cells. The top cell is going to be called the terminal cell. That cell ultimately is going to become the embryo, the baby plant. And down below, this is going to be referred to as the basal cell. The basal cell is going to uh, further develop into the suspensor. And the suspensor is a structure that has uh, a couple purposes. The suspensor anchors the embryo because the embryo is very delicate and we don't want it jostling around inside the seed. So it's going to anchor the embryo to the inside of the seed. And also the suspensor transfers nutrients from uh, the endosperm to the embryo. So it's also going to serve that function. Now, as this begins to enlarge, all right, we're going to draw our next structure. And this large structure up here is going to be our pro-embryo. This is our early embryo. So this terminal cell continues to, uh, to divide and differentiate. And it becomes our pro-embryo, our very, very early embryo. It's made of many cells, so I'm just going to show it like this, but it's made of many, many cells. And down below, our basal cell has continued to divide and differentiate, and this is now going to be referred to as our suspensor. Now the next structure that's going to be produced I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to erase some of this, uh, this writing here. The next structure is this is going to further develop. So I'm going to go ahead and draw our arrow here. This is going to further develop. And I'm going to go ahead and draw a structure that looks like this. So this mid portion here, again, is going to be our pro-embryo, our early embryo. The bottom portion is going to be our suspensor. And the top portion, which is now developing, are going to be our cotyledons. And I have two cotyledons there. These cotyledons are, in a sense, storage containers. They're going to store food, mainly starches, some protein, maybe a little bit of uh, fat material. And this food is going to be used by the future embryo. Now, if there was just one lump instead of two, that would be a monocot. Right now, we have two lumps, two cotyledons, and that is going to be a dicot. Remember, angiosperms can be further categorized into either monocots or dicots, depending upon the type of seed they produce. Now, in addition, around here we've also got some other things going on, which I'm not going to show, but very quickly, there is also endosperm developing out here. And the endosperm was formed from the second sperm fertilizing our central cell. And then that became our endosperm. And again, the endosperm is also kind of a food container. And that food is going to be used by the future embryo. Oftentimes, however, what happens is that endosperm gets transferred, those, the, the food stored in that endosperm gets transferred to the cotyledons. And in some plants, almost 
all, or maybe even all that endosperm is transferred to the cotyledon, so you don't even have any, any uh, endosperm uh, left. Now we're going to draw another arrow here, and our pro-embryo is going to further develop at this point. So I'm going to draw it like this. So again, up here, these are our cotyledons. Down here, this is going to be our basal, our, our basal cell, which is further uh, uh, developed into our suspensor. And our suspensor didn't get any smaller, but relatively speaking, our embryo got much larger. And this is going to be the embryo here. This whole thing is going to be the embryo or baby plant. And we're going to divide that embryo up into its various parts. And although this isn't perfect, I like to divide it into thirds. And the top third is going to be called the epicotyl. The epicotyl is also known as the plumule. And this is going to form the future upper stem and leaves of the plant. And then the middle portion is going to be referred to as the hypocotyl. Okay. Epo, let's just go back to this really quickly. Epo means above or on top of, and hypo means below, or underneath, or even less than. So the hypocotyl is underneath the epicotyl. And the hypocotyl is going to become our future lower stem. And then finally, the last part is going to be our radical. And radical means root. So the radical is going to be our future our future root. And all three of these parts make up the embryo. And that is going to be it for seed development.